Gear day folks, just spring along, I'm building my Dutch bucket system and I thought you'd come along and check it out, see how I'm going, see if you, if you can suggest anything or I'm doing it right, so let's get to it folks, hope everyone's having a good day, don't forget hit that subscribe button and comment if you see anything that you can help me with. Okay, today I need to build my tomato growing um, beds or racks or stand and that this is what I'm using which is called a Dutch bucket um, you fill your inside up with media you put your media in there that stops the media from going up through the pipe and leaves a little bit of water on the bottom of your Dutch bucket um, water comes out there PVC pipe, I think it's a 4 inch, I've got to have a look, it might be 4 inch, runs along there, um, water comes, runs along there, water comes out and down into your sump tank. So what I'm doing is I'm welding up a frame for my tomatoes, these will sit sort of one there like that. So that will sit there, one there like that. Another one will sit on the other side here. So that will sit like that. Run down the grow bed and I'm not sure how many I've got. But yeah, my first task today is to weld up the actual frame for these Dutch buckets. So that's going to be my frame. Then I'm going to weld up and I'm going to have a piece in the middle there and then I'm going to put slat wood over the top of it and the Dutch buckets will sit on there. So what I'm going to do first folks is weld up this bottom frame. So I'm going to weld up this end on, weld up that other end on and another one in the middle. And then what I'll do is I'll get back to you and show you where I'm going to go from there. Okay, got the legs welded onto my frame. So, six legs out of the frame. What I'm going to do now is put up some cross pieces on this frame and then tie all that in and then I can turn it over and put some wood on the other side. That's basically where I'm up to at the moment. So I'll put these cross pieces on and I shall get back to you. Okay, finished welding up my frame for my tomato growing platform. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to break up some pellets to get some wood to put on the top. Line up with wood and from there I can install my buckets. Get them to where I want, sort all that out and then off to the hardware tomorrow to get some plumbing material. So that's where I'm up to guys finish welding the platform up. Okay, I broke up an old pallet that I got from a trucking company and that's going to be my wood for the top of my tomato growing platform. Uh, pretty decent sized wood so I'm happy with that nice and thick I think it'll do the job and so I'll cut that to size and screw onto this platform and knock all the nails out screw it onto the platform then and then I'll get back to you okay my Dutch bucket system is finished um, I've put lava rock in the bucket. Uh, this lava rock hasn't got the stain or colouring on it, it's just straight lava rock 
So it's a black normal, I guess, how it looks when they get it. Before they put stain on it. So I'm going to try that with the tomatoes. Um, tomatoes have been in for a week. Sorry that I haven't got to doing this video before that, but I've been a bit busy. Um, I've put dripper line in for the tomatoes, so they've all got drippers on them. It seems to be working very well. I've put a filter, filter on the dripper line. Um, comes up there into a split out to two, one on each side for the tomatoes. They um, probably doubled in size in a week, which is not too bad. So yeah, I'm happy with the system. It's uh, going pretty well. So I'm happy with it. Just a bit annoyed I can't get more fish at the moment um, until next month. But um, that's my Dutch bucket system. Um, water drains. I'll come back here and show you. So this pipe goes under all of them. As I showed you when I was building it. Drains back out. And down. So it drains back out there down across and down into this pipe and then back into the sub tank so that's my Dutch bucks Dutch bucket system up and running so I'll give, do you a weekly um, video on how it's all going at the moment we're just waiting on a storm to hit us um, with hail and a heap of rain so I had to stop filming everything and madly put up my shade cloth to protect everything so I've got that up and we're, yeah, we're just sort of shutting down for four days for, for this storm to come through um, snow peas are still going good so yeah capsicums or peppers going good uh, sweet corn are just starting to come up now. So yep, everything's just starting to sort of take off. So I'll give you a weekly update, as I said, with these tomatoes, and we'll see how they go. Um, any questions, suggestions, like them down in the um, comment section. Um, if you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button. If you're new to the channel, um, like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button and hit that little bell on YouTube will let you know when I upload a new video. Okay folks, hope everyone's staying safe and I shall catch you next video. Stay safe guys.